Okay, so this uh, video is going to show you how to make a chess piece. So this is a whole chess board. We're going to just make one of them. So we're going to make the pawn. So this is our goal. And it's going to be not too difficult. Um, but we're going to start off by closing things up here. And we're going to go to this new design up on the top right. We're going to click on that. So now we have a blank sheet. Uh, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to make uh, a rectangle. So I'm going to go up on the top left and we're going to use the center rectangle. I like to center things as much as I can. So we're going to have it 25 millimeters wide, hit tab, and 50 millimeters high. So this is just a rough estimate. You can make yours however you want. Uh, if we were to print them out, we want them to be reasonably small, especially in the beginning. So to, um, to do this, we're going to make use of a website um, called Convertio. Um, so what I've done is I've searched online for chess pieces and then I used the word outline. And this is what I came up with. Uh, from there, I used the snip tool that's in Microsoft. And so you basically hit new and then you just drag over the pieces that you want and then you save them. So in this case, it's gonna be saved as a PNG. I put it in the desktop and I hit save. I've done this already just to speed things up. So then the next thing is you go to a website called Convertio and you're basically given this option. So you start by, let's say that if I wanted to make more, you want to go to choose your file. So you go to your computer, you find the PNG that you, um, the PNG that you uh, got from the internet, and then you select uh, SVG, so that's Scalable Vector Graphic, um, or super very good if you want to remember it, silly way. Okay, so then you're going to hit Convert. It's going to take a little while, and once it's done converting, then you're going to uh, download it. So I have done this already, so I hit Download and then it asks you where you want to download it. So in this case, I'm going to put it in the same files before. You'll notice that the ending is changed to SVG. So you hit save. Uh, I'm going to hit cancel because I've already done this. And so now you're ready to go to Fusion. So you're going to use Insert, but if we've ever used Insert before, you want to make sure that you use this Insert SVG. And so then you're going to go from my computer you're going to go to desktop or wherever you saved it. And the uh, PNG is not showing up, so basically I'm left with this one, which is the one I wanted anyways. So now I can move it with these little control levers. Um, remember that I'm trying to get this pawn to be in, in this box here. So uh, this big square uh, will help me move. It. This little half or quarter circle will help me scale it. Uh, these arrows will make it move in one direction or the other. Uh, we've got some flip tools here. So if you wanted to flip it vertically, you could flip it that way or horizontally, it could be that way. Uh, but the two most useful things are going to be this little uh, quarter circle or arc. And you can just sort of get it as close as you can to the middle. Uh, this is a, a rotate, so if you move it, it goes one way or the other. Uh, so at this point, we can click OK to save it or to accept the placement of the SVG. If you wanted to delete things, you could just go and select them. Now, in Fusion, if you go from from left, so top, top left to right, it's only going to uh, select what you're over. Whereas if you go from top right to bottom left, it's going to take a little bit more of an inclusive approach. So you'll notice that I only got halfway through the, the castle, but it selected all of it. So at that point, if you want to, you can delete it. Um, oddly enough, it did not grab that part. Okay, so I got rid of all the other parts. Now, we don't really need this box anymore, so we could get rid of it. And 
the point of that was just so that it was the right size. So the only thing we need now is a line from the top. And I tend to draw, overdraw my lines just so that it emphasizes that it doesn't have to be the precise. So you'll notice the important thing is when I tab over that that's 90 degrees. It doesn't matter the length of the line. So then you can hit escape a couple times to get out of the tool. So at this point we're just going to finish and we're going to go to use a revolve tool. So the revolve tool asks for basically to select whatever profile you want. So I could choose this and this. And if I don't choose all of it, it's going to be hollow on the inside, which may be a problem, may not be a problem. And then you just choose the axis line. And that's basically what you want. Sometimes if you're going to print it out, you want to make sure that the bottom is flat. Um, but other times it doesn't matter. If you want to, you can go to render. Um, and you can have it basically look like a very polished piece. If you go back to design, you can uh, open up your bodies and click on it and you can change the appearance of it. So if you click on appearance, you can go into your appearance tab. So there's a whole bunch of different things. You could make it look metallic. So let's go with chrome. Actually, it's pretty chrome now. Let's go with the blue anodized aluminum. So if we put that on there, then we close it. Now when we go to render, it will look very shiny. Okay, so that's the first video of this series on how to make chess pieces. And so good luck, have fun.